Hi there, Chris here. So sometimes you have uh, a disc detainer lock that, oh, you go, oh, it's it's guttable. Um, and you turn it and it opens. All right, let's lock up. Oh, it is locked. Okay. But you try and take this thing off and it won't turn. So you got to kind of look around. Um, usually there's a, re if it looks like this, usually there's some sort of retaining screw. Now, I would look under here. No. Or here. Maybe. Nope. Now it's going to be right in this area somewhere. And this had a little gray plastic thing on top. <clears throat> and when I was preparing for the video, I popped it out and it went in the back, the background somewhere. I can't for the life of me find it. I'll find it at some point, but it just shot away like nobody's business. But the point is, if we take this, and it won't, you know, doesn't want to come out, but then you take a shim, and you put a shim in, and there's nothing holding it on the top, <clears throat> but there might be something holding it on the bottom, so we're going to pivot around, and lo and behold, there's that little guy in there. So then... You want to beat on it till that comes out. We didn't lose that. And then if you look in there, let's see if we can look in there. You see a big old grub screw. See it hiding in there? So once you take that grub screw out, then you can gut this thing. Or you can get the Grub, keep the grub screw out and uh, kind of look at the disc, see what's going on. <clears throat> this is a, a cheap one, but it, these are kind of different because the spacing is a lot closer together. Now, I picked this once off camera, God, years ago. Well, maybe not years ago, but a very, very long time ago. And... Um, it's not too tough. You just you just got to know the spacing. And I didn't I didn't know till fairly recently there were different spacings. So uh, anyway, so that's how you do that. And if you want to put it back together, well, you got to put this guy back in, and it's spring loaded, and that's what retains the shackle when that's happening. So I go in and put the shim in. Then I take a really small little uh, oh, that's not going to work. A little small wrench to push that down so I can get it in and then you just pull this back out unlock it <coughs> and it's back together. So I wish I could have find the, find the gray thing that, it's just a little gray piece of plastic and I took off the shackle and I went like this and went boom into the back. Almost never to be seen again. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, I hope that's helpful to someone. I think it might be. I think it might be. Oh, also, here's a little anchor lass. And... If you look at this, it's almost square, like the cheap Chinese distillators. If I have one somewhere here. But it's not quite, <clears throat> because it has that little corner. I guess I don't have the keys handy for this, but you see that little corner is knocked off. So if you want to pick this, 
you have to make a little tool that the tensioner is knocked off a little bit. You can do it with the sparrows. Um, you make it deep enough. This part, you, you move this back and then you round the correct side. So it would be here, that would be rounded. And you do the same thing, you have a little blocky pick like that, that will fit through that and get into those discs. So there you go, a couple of tips and tricks. This one is not set up. Before. All right, um, thanks for watching. Ask a question, leave a comment, and we will see you next time.